and welcome to another episode of Crush Crush. I bring Stabity, the stabbiest stab that ever stabbied. Although in this game, I am but a marshmallow. Anyway, uh, same recording session, as you can tell by the fact that we've still got the event timer on here. But we may as well get going, and the next girl in line is Esper. Sit before me, and I shall divine your future. One day, while wandering through the local fair, you see a sign advertising psychic readings. Intrigued, you step inside the tent, where you're greeted by an enchantingly beautiful fortune teller. And then she says what she just said. She waves her hands over an expensive-looking glass orb, murmuring quietly until strange images begin to form. Lights begin to flicker, and... Priceless Magical Crystal Ball Crushed! You're... you're unreadable! My crystal ball is broken! How did this happen? What did you do? Answer me! The fortune teller lets out a cry, and says what she just said. Sounds like you'd better have a good explanation for this one, if you could explain it at all. Well, uh, clearly the uh, crystal ball does not work against the fourth wall. Simple as that. Uh, works against all the people without free will inside of the game world, but uh, someone with free will can't be read by the ball. Did you really think you could pull the wool over my third eye? So yeah, and this is Esper's uh, silly little thing. You don't know what gift you need to give her. So you either need to look at a guide, or you can randomly guess until you find the right gift. Um, shell. Well, you clearly weren't reading my mind when you picked this up. Oh, that's a good one. Rose? Nope. And lotion. There it is. And once you get the right thing, it'll unlock it. But you can just cheat and uh, use the lightning bolt if you've unlocked Katara. And it totally destroys the uh, game. Boom. That was a fruit basket. Oh, well, let's poke you. Wait. What are you trying to do? I'm confused. Sorry. You think you're immune to my powers? I am! <laughs> I'll show you. Okay, focus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, focus! Ah! Oh, I think I pulled a muscle. Uh, yeah, I definitely see the resemblance to Terra. And yeah, that color of hair. I feel you, buddy. I so, admittedly, not that particular shade, that particular shade of blue, because that just reminds me of Bulma. Uh, but I do have a thing for anime blue-haired girls. They tend to be best girls, but man, blue-haired girls in real life are the worst. Stay away. <laughs> uh, I've keep chatting. just had a premonition that you're going to. Go away! Incorrect! I've got it! You're the one who put glitter in the air vents that one time! I knew you were a scoundrel! The third eye never lies. What? That wasn't you? Are you sure? It definitely wasn't me. However, uh, my friend and I... Blue, that's more greenish blue, cyan. Yes. Yep. Yeah, that's definitely greenish blue, cyan, but yeah. I'm talking about, like, blue hair, blue hair, as opposed to this color. Uh, one time, my friend and I took a uh, clock off the wall at school, uh, took out a bunch of the guts, uh, got a uh, motor, got a DC motor, uh, grabbed a uh, DC, or uh, uh, grabbed an AC to DC adapter, hooked it up to the motor, made the uh, clock go in reverse, and hung it back on the wall. Time was going backwards in that class. <laughs> uh. I've come to the conclusion that your head is utterly empty. Incorrect. You're thinking about the uh, protagonist from uh, uh, Data Live uh, and that entire thing. Shido has a very empty head. Nothing but pudding in, in his brain. Me, I've got a very full head. <gasps> I've, I've come to the conclusion. Never mess with a telekinetic girl. 
Didn't you ever see Carrie? Nope. No? Not even the remake? No. -uh. Or the other remake? Come on, it's a classic! Not only have I never seen it, I've never even heard of it. But yeah, Carrie. Funny, because she's telekinetic. <laughs> but I honestly don't know if that's a real movie or not. What can I say? I'm telepathic. And you're... telepathetic. Beautiful insult. <gasps> I've got it! You're the one who never mess with... I could totally read your mind if I wanted to. I just don't want to, because you're lame. <laughs> you think you're immune to my powers. <laughs> I'll show you. Okay, focus. Come on, focus! Ah! Oh, I think I pulled a muscle. Well, you may not be able to read my mind, uh, but you did learn the uh, combination to my luggage. Because it is one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. So the password is one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> What can I- I've just- I could tot- You think you're a I've just- <gasps> I've got right, it! That seems to you're be everything, the one let's who give her the rest of the ambush. You are getting very sleepy. You are opening your mind. You are letting me in. Come on, let me in. Knock knock. Who's there? Wait, what? Oh, shoot, I confused myself again. <laughs> what is it about you that muddles me so? Free will, baby. Things look different when you mind read between the lines. <laughs> Hope. Haha, <laughs> I am so amused. Not. Right, first gift. Um, well, you clearly weren't reading my mind when you picked this up. I guess she's not a fan of Fruit Basket. What can I say? I'm telepathic. Never. I sense a great darkness within you, an emptiness, and a longing to fill the void your soul desires. French toast? Where did that come from? She can, she can see into my soul, but can she see why kids love cinnamon toast crunch? <laughs> Never mess with the telekinetic. Okay, that's it. Who are you? A spy with mental defense training? Some kind of energy absorption robot? Are you an actual marshmallow? Yeah, it's the last one. Pure 100% marshmallow. Never. What can... Never. I've come to the conc... What can... I've just... I've come to... Okay, that's it. I've come to... I've just had... I sense... Never mess with it. I've come Seems to, to the... Everything. Auntie Cleo Ooh. warned me about people like you. Ha ha ha. I sense. Okay, that's it. Who does she know how many you? licks it takes to A get to the center with of a mental defense ball training? Ball? Some kind of energy absorption? What can I say? All right, let's give you the rest I'm... of the gifts. Let's play a game. Okay, think of a number between one and ten. Mm... Um, you're not thinking five million, are you? Because that's definitely against the rules. Actually, I was thinking of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is probably the next number we're gonna have for your affection number. All right, you win, but only because I let you. Sure. Yes, you're back. I was right. It's not that I'm happy to see you. I'm just glad my prediction came true. <laughs> okay, psychic girl, or should I say psycho girl? Okay, that's it. Who? I've come to the conc- I've just- I've come to the c I'm only staring at you for mysterious ESP-related reasons. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't happen to feel a choking sensation, would you? Not even a little squeeze? Sorry, baby. Uh, Darth Vader did not uh, share his secrets with you. What can I say? Auntie Cl I've come to- I said- Auntie Cl I've just- What can- I'm only- I've just had a pre- I 
I'm only staring Nothing. at you for mysterious ESP related. I've just had a premonition that Nothing. you're going well, to. Let's give you a random gift. Go away! Actually, simple. I'll just Don't give the right it. gift on mobile. It's a book. Let's give you a book. Um. Well, you Same clearly thing as last weren't. Time. So tell me about yourself. Not that I care. I mean, I pretty much already know everything anyway. Sure you do. Sure you do. Go on then. In your own words. Let's see if our answers match. Nah. Sure, bending spoons with your mind is a neat party trick. But you want to see something really cool? Here we go. Mm. Hang on, give me a sec. Can you hold the spoon? I wasn't ready that time, just... Why isn't this working? <laughs> so, there is some evidence that spoon bending may be real. I'm not entirely convinced, but maybe? Okay, that's it. I send... Are you... Th okay, that's it. Stand still. I'm trying to read your aura. Uh, all this squinting is going to give me wrinkles. If you're doing this on purpose, well... That's just cruel. <laughs> well, clearly just stop trying to read my mind. Here, let's give you some more gifts as an um, apology. Well, you clearly weren't reading my mind when you picked this up. She doesn't see the truth. There is no spoon. Ah, lovely Matrix reference. So yeah, uh, funny thing about the Matrix, according to the uh, Wachowski brothers or sisters or whatever you want to call them, uh, Supposedly, uh, The Matrix was entirely about trans stuff. I don't entirely believe that, but maybe. I sense a great dark- Are you thinking what I'm thinking? No, really, you have to tell me. Please tell me! Are you pondering what I'm pondering, Ed Pink? Are you pondering what I'm pondering, Pinky? I think so, Brain. But if so, uh, why does uh, Esper have those four balls floating around her? <laughs> Ever seen Dark City? No, I have not. Uh, could you give me just a basic description of what it is and where to watch it? Right, what else? Stand still. Okay, that's it. I'm only staring. I said. Are you thinking? And I'm only minds. staring at you from a. I said. Are you th stands? I sense Think we're out a of great new lines. darkness. Let's give her the gift. What Cake. do you mean? Stop trying to figure you out, huh? You mean you want to know about me instead? Potentially, but also the cake was a lie. Oh, that's actually really sweet. But why? What are you really up to? It's the Matrix before the Matrix. Ooh, interesting. And as for Esper, why I have my own diabolical plan. <laughs> you know, I've never had a surprise party before. Ooh. No one's ever been able to pull it off. So this year, you're gonna do it. Finally, I found a good use for you. Uh, Once again, censorship difference. Lots more cleavage on Esper on Steam than on uh, mobile. Hulu Prime Video Rental for like two bucks. Voodoo Rental for four bucks. Doing quick Google, don't quote me on that. Okay, cool. All right. Like seriously, Mark Dark City. Watch Dark City, worth it. I will definitely take it into advisement. Uh, after I finish this recording session, I'm gonna have like a month's worth of videos. So I may be able to take a little bit of time. Uh, on the other hand, my narration channel is going to be down to exactly zero backlog in the morning. Dark City is awesome. Hard to explain that movie. Cool. Up with two recommendations, I've got, uh, I clearly have no excuse not to watch it. All right, let's go on the date. How romantic. The moon, the stars, those beautiful constellations. But they are. can you believe Mercury's in retrograde again? You know it's notorious for causing problems with technology. No. You saved your game recently, right? 
Bad Esper. Astronomy good, astrology bad. No talking about astrology here. Also, love the legs. They look quite nice. Poke. <laughs> uh, I hate how good you are at that. Wait, is that your mutant power? I'm sure Zappo would tell you to watch it too. Okay, well, <laughs> I shall accept your, uh, uh, I shall accept his recommendation as well. Are you thinking I'm feeling a little off kilter today? I'm gonna go cleanse my aura, shuffle my tarot deck, absorb the life energy from some youths, maybe do a guided meditation? You know, basic self-care. Yeah, no, not very basic. Not very basic at all. Perhaps basic bitch a little bit, but no. Ouch! Just kidding! <laughs> you should have seen your face. You're fun to mess with. It has Jennifer Connelly at her best. Basically, there's a mysterious group of people that come at night. Uh, they pause the city and everyone then resets the city, but to tell you more would ruin it. But get to Shell Beach. Uh, okay. Are you one of those mindless zombie soldiers Luna sometimes conjures up? Because that would explain a lot. Nope, definitely very mindful. You little conundrum! I will figure you out. You shall not! I'm only staring at you for- I'm feeling a- I'm only- I'm feeling a- You little con- Stand still! I'm feeling a- You- Are you one of those mo- Stand still! Alright. I'm trying to read That's your aura. Everything. Let's give you a random uh, gift. Called it. I knew I would get one of these today. I just didn't know it would be from you. <laughs> Alright. More gifts! <sighs> Books! All this get-to-know-you chit-chat is exhausting! How do people even do this without telepathy? It's impossible! Uh, I feel you there, Esper. Small talk sucks. Like, I want to talk about the important stuff. You know, uh, all the stuff you're not supposed to talk about, uh, religion and politics? Ooh, those are the best things to talk about. Get interesting. It's all part of the fun, you say? My stomach feels full of butterflies! How is that supposed to be a good thing? I don't know. Maybe you ate some. Then it would be a good thing. They say the eyes are the windows to the soul. Maybe if I stare into yours, I'll finally be able to... Oh, so pretty. Not to brag, but I actually do have really nice eyes. <laughs> Uh, multicolored, kind of uh, brownish hazel on the inside, uh, yellow uh, spiky on the outside. Gotta go to sleep. Later, bird. Talk to you later. Hopefully I can catch one of your streams sometime soon. All right, date time. Look at me. I'm Ooh. a beach babe. Fun and sun as far as the third eye can see. <laughs> Get it? <sighs> yes, she is. This. Absolutely. All right, let's give you just a random gift. Chocolate. Was this an impulse buy? I hope you didn't pay full price. It's going to be on sale next week. <laughs> the joys of being psychic, you know when things go on sale. I'm feeling a little... Don't you get lonely inside your own head? Nope. With no one else's thoughts to break the silence? Nope. I can spawn a... Uh, I can spawn uh, other voices to argue with myself when needed. Why can't I get a read on you? This is so annoying and weirdly endearing, which makes it even worse. I'm frustrated. Aw, best way to seduce the psychic gal is just to uh, not let her read your mind. You sure are popular around here. Want to know who fancies you the most? Who writes angsty acrostic poetry about you? Who's already planning a ginormous wedding? Too bad. I'll never tell. Should I grab the, uh, handcuffs that Lustat had and convince you to tell me? Because I can. Why can't I get a... So you insist on being difficult. Absolutely. Turns out I like a challenge. <laughs> I'm going to crack you open like a nonsense-filled pinata if it kills me. Someone give me a stick. Not if I get Lustat's handcuffs first. 
Precognition requires immense focus, concentration, and self-control. Has your hair always done that swooping thing? So glam! Anyway, where was I? Uh, yeah, see, there you go. That little swooping thing. She likes it. Don't you get lonely inside your own head? So you ins- Are you one of those- You little- Why can't I- You sure are popular around here. That I am. Wanna know who fancies you the most? Why can't- I was never a big fan of the mystery genre. But you're an oddly fascinating puzzle. And actually, puzzles are cool now. So there's that. A ray, I guess? I'm feeling a little... You sure? Are you one of those... I was never... Precognition right, requires well, immense focus, concentration, and... I really didn't anticipate feeling this way. Dating's never been so unpredictable before. Yeah. It's kind of fun, but also kind of nerve-wracking. And now she knows how normal people deal with it. I'll try to keep my expectations low. Ah, uh, that came out wrong. Don't judge me. I'm new to this whole building trust thing. Fair. I'm not used to this whole my crush is immune to my powers thing. Whoops! Did I just admit something I shouldn't have? <laughs> nope, definitely should have admitted it. I'm always gazing into my crystal ball. I so rarely just look at what's around me. It's so three-dimensional and beautiful. <laughs> and it smells good. That it does. We still got the portal in the background. But yeah. Lovely little date here. Precognition requires... You sure are popular around here. What? Please don't distract me. I'm trying to meditate. Seriously, how am I supposed to concentrate like this? Just... Stop being so darn adorable. I mean horrible. <laughs> Not too late. No take backs. Definitely adorable. Are you actually interesting? Or do I just think you're interesting because I don't actually know if you're interesting or not? Back to the adorable bit. Uh, gotta quote uh, Team Four Star on this. You think you're cute. Bitch, I'm adorable. <laughs> Please don't just... You sure are... Precognition... You sure... I was never a... So you insist precognition mm -hmm. require are you a so you insist right. on being difficult Gift time Turn oh good you finally Candace. got my telepathic message i've been trying to send it all day wait that is why you're here right baby no so you just decided to see me all on your own oh oh glad you like it good just because I know someone's weird little secrets doesn't mean I'd use that info against them. Except for Charlotte. She loves a good blackmail now and again. Very Anything cute. for a friend. And speaking of Charlotte. There she is, all uh, dark and gloomy on the phone side. Don't have her on Steam, though. So, back to Esper. And let's go on the last date. It'll be movie theater. <laughs> Honestly? Lame. I saw that plot twist coming before we even got to our seats. And that's without using my psychic powers. But thanks for the popcorn. Alright, how about a rose? Gifts like it? this let me know you're thinking of me. I like knowing what's on your mind. Please continue. Oh, Blink-182 lyrics, uh... She left me roses by the stairs. Surprises let me know she cares. There we go. All right, let's Are get you flirting. actually interesting? Please don't distract me. I hope these heart eyes don't make me look desperate. They do. Oh. <laughs> no! Don't make me laugh! It doesn't... <laughs> didn't work out for her please don't not knowing how you'll react makes me so nervous but it's time i admit how i truly feel just promise you'll be nice i will esper i promise please don't i hope these heart eyes don't please don't distract are you actually not knowing how you yes you may kiss me don't tell me that's not what you were thinking about just take the opportunity dummy yeah, that was a pretty obvious hint. 
It seems the tables have turned, and you've got me hypnotized. My, how the turntables. Yes, you may kiss me. Don't I confess? I'm having visions of you and I together. Truthfully, that's the only thing I'm seeing. Literally the only thing. Hm, my ESP might be broken. I blame you. I'll take credit. Yes, you may kiss me. It seems not knowing how you'll react. Telepathy equals ultimate stealth mode. I don't blame Shibuki for being a little jealous. You know, being a ninja is hard. And sometimes a girl just wants to stay home and eat chips while wearing a pirate onesie. Um, maybe don't tell her I said that part about the pirate onesie. If you dress her in a pirate onesie, I won't tell her. I confess. I hope these heart. I confess. Please don't distract. I hope these telepath. Yes, you may. Please don't All distract right, let's me. Let's give her the rest I'm of the gifts. I think we're finally starting to form a telepathic connection. Oh my. Do you think maybe it might be the kissing? Quick, try kissing me again. Can't you feel our energies entwining? Maybe. Worth a shot. I pulled the lovers from my tarot deck this morning, and I noticed an intriguing resemblance between the illustration and, well, you and me. What I'm saying is, I trust my cards. Let's do this. And we lack the funds to continue. We can't give her the other gift. We actually can't do it on mobile either. Definitely a surprise. <laughs> Yeah, we made some uh, very nice progress. We are almost done with this list. Now, obviously, we need to backtrack and finish off some of the girls that we started, get all those uh, requirements done. And yeah, we even got the 73 Mysterious. But still, after Esper, we only have... Now, Ranma, we only have on Steam, so we're going to skip her as well and catch her later. We only have the Event Girls. Uh, Cassia and Yuki... Were from uh, uh, parallel events. Nova was from a different event, and then uh, Mary Bell, Baby Bell, Pepper, Amelia, Kira are from parallel events. Miss Desiree, we need to finish the phone fling before we get that far. Nightingale, Grace, Desdemona, and Abby are from parallel events. So yeah, we are getting close, getting very close, but. That is it for this episode. Please like, follow, subscribe, check me out on Twitch, YouTube, Rumble, Odyssey, and grab a credit card for some referral points. See you later. Bye now.